Nimrod Diaries is asking a question about how to support her sobriety with nutrition. Um, basically how to use nutrition to help them keep them sober. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's a good one. Um, well, you know, we, when we look at, um, at how our body's impacted by uh, alcohol, we, 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 we look at uh, our, our busiest and largest internal organ that we want to support, our liver, which does so many different functions, you know, besides, um, uh, you know, uh, blood sugar balance and producing bile to eliminate toxins and, and, and it has to uh, uh, process the, um, in the different phases of detoxification, the, um, anything that we, any metabolites from our body's regular functions to the various things we're exposed to that, that will cause more, more stress. So, uh, so supporting, and I, I, I don't particularly believe in the, the concept of doing a, like a detox. Mm -hmm. Um, how I look at it is, is 24 seven our, our liver is doing the, the, the different phases of detoxification and, and um, um, you know that we, and we just need to be supporting, supporting that on, on, a, on a regular regular basis, particularly if we've had a long term of um, maybe maybe freshly uh, or newly newly having in, in sobriety but having used alcohol so I think it would be more important that would be a first thing to to look at is to support uh, liver function uh, one of my favorites uh, um, I learned from one of my herbalist teachers um, is I, I'll, I'll um, in the evening have a just a spoonful of, of, of milk thistle powder and mm -hmm. chase it with some water and um, just to get it's a wonderful bitter and uh, bitter herb and uh, we'll give uh, liver support. When we're sleeping at night, um, we're not using a lot of energy, so our liver has more energy for the, for, uh, I mean, our body has a lot of energy for a lot of different things. A lot of things happen at night more, including our liver you know, going through uh, the different phases of detoxification. And, uh, and if we don't support our liver and if our liver has been stressed because of, um, of uh, things that we've eaten or, 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 or Im imbibed, um, then um, the different phases are not going to be working in sync. If it's uh, if we're, we're once we detoxify as part of phase one, those uh, metabolites are more toxic than they were before. And if phase two is sluggish, then we we can be impacted. A lot of folks that come to see me because they have sleep issues. Oh, I fall asleep fine, but I wake up between two and five in the morning. It's typically, um, I suggest maybe instead of a sleep aid, they they support their, their liver function because the more of those processes are happening. Sometimes if things are more toxic during that intermediate time between phase one and phase two, that can in, impact our sleep. So um, milk, you know, eating artichokes regularly in your diet, it's as simple as just getting the artichoke hearts and uh, uh, milk thistle, dandelion. Uh, during the, I can't, you know, the spring, it, pretty soon the dandelion greens are gonna be popping up in my yard and I'm very excited about that to be Adding that to my my greens mix, and uh, you know just just the really supporting liver is, is really important. And on, on top of that, and, and along with that, um, is looking at the blood sugar roller coaster. Along with that, mm. because some often what happens is we still have those cravings, mm. and they can get translated to craving sweets mm -hmm. instead of alcohol, and we'll, then we end up on the blood sugar roller coaster, and and that's pretty stressful, as I mentioned earlier. So doing that in conjunction, uh, eating a more balanced diet to get off of the blood sugar roller coaster and, 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 and liver support. I remember in my early 20s, uh, I, would, I would do Lent every year. I'm not Catholic, but I remember when I would not consume any sort of alcohol, yeah. I would have these intense cravings for like ice cream and stuff. And yeah. I was like, why is that? Okay, yeah. that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, also, I did want to comment on the milk thistle seed powder. So you're literally taking like a teaspoon and then putting your mouth and then swallowing. Yeah, probably a tablespoon, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because, you know, I really like, say, like the Gaia milk thistle capsules. I always mm -hmm. hear how great they are, mm -hmm. uh, but those could be really expensive for certain people. Yeah. I feel as if you bought uh, milk thistle seed powder, that'd be a much more economical way to get milk Yeah, and it's, it's a way that everybody can afford to do it. And and again, it's it's um, the um, the extracts are, mm -hmm. you know, are, are standardized. Mm -hmm. And so they'll standardize, they'll, they'll, they'll spike some of the constituents in there. And again, I... You know, I'm just kind of an old-fashioned herbalist. I like the, you know, the um, the whole everything that's in there. Amen. 
you know, I, folks ask me a lot about, well, you know, about fat. I mean, we could do probably a whole lot, talk about sure. a whole hour about fats. And, you know, um, you know, and, you know, and, f you know, fat is really important for us for a lot of different reasons. So we can absorb our fat soluble vitamins and, and, uh, um, you know, I was, I was a dairy farmer for many years and I, you know, milked, you know, 300 cows three times a day for many years. So that's a lot of cows that came past me and I never had a cow give fat free milk, you know. <laughs> so it's, you know, the components are all important. They're right. there for a reason and I, I, I try to honor that. Yeah. You know, and the same thing with our, our, uh, our, our, our herbs and our, you know, our plants, you know, the nutrients are in there and, and uh, we don't know what the long term effects are if we're isolating a certain component and not getting it in balance the way it is in nature. I mean, maybe some folks might not agree with me on that, but that's my traditional way of, of looking at it. I did want to bring that up. Uh, you know, there, nutrition could be a very divisive topic, but I think everything Indeed. you said today so far has been just really well balanced and just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think, have you been resonating with a lot of this? Yeah. yeah. That's my goal. Yeah, right? no, I, I don't think you've said anything particularly controversial. Yeah.